Yo, I don't know what just happened just now. Shit just conked out. Um. It conked out a little bit, but here's the deal. I know you guys, are you guys still here? Damn, they're not here, fuck. All right, that's fine. I'm gonna try one last time. Here's the strategy here. Here's the strategy, right? We're going to save Tropius for the end game. We're gonna save Tropius for the end game. And we're gonna terrestrialize Tropius. We're gonna terrestrialize Tropius. Yo, welcome back. I love my ego. <laughs> Thanks for, uh, yeah, the, I don't know, the, the stream the stream booted out for some reason, but uh, I'm back, and um, I'm going to terrestrialize Tropius. Wow, I was talking for mad long. I didn't know it was down. That's crazy. I was talking mad shit for mad long, doing mad preparation, and I just didn't know it was down. All right, I will, I will, I will. Corviknight turned away. Thank you, Corvin Knight, for listening this time. I appreciate you, man, because you were just giving me a rough time just now, but that's fine with me. Um, what I want to do is keep current Pokemon. I want to get a, I want to get a safe switch in. I mean, that was a safe switch in chance as, as well, but I think I might be faster anyway. So let's see if we can. I think I might be faster anyway. Let's see if we can just drill peck here. Now nah, they're faster. Damage just now. 
I was crazy damaged. That was crazy rough damage just now. Whatever. Wow, we got a critical on that. We got a critical on that low sweep. That was a clutch for us just now. That was absolutely clutch for us just now. We're gonna terrestrialize um, Tropius. Um, uh, he decided to raise his speed. We just use X defend, and right now I want to terrestrialize. We are a flying type terrestrialization, right? So we're going to run air slash into him a bunch of times. Critical hit. Got a critical hit there. That was a critical hit. That was a critical hit. So, I mean, that was a critical hit. So, I don't know. I think it's time for us to heal up then. I hate that they just keep getting all these clutch ass RNG, clutch ass fucking things like critical hits and like first try paralyzations and shit like that like it's annoying I'm not gonna lie man we're terrestrialized if this nigga gets another critical hit man i don't know how i'm gonna feel son thank god he went for shift gear again just keep just keep raising your speed because right now i just want to lower your hp he avoided the attack i'm saying like come on bro like dude what the come on son he just avoided the attack. Again, like last battle. Yo, honestly, what's the accuracy on Air Slash? Let's check it out. So I don't so I, I can know that that's actually something that should be happening to me. Like, is that something that should be happening to me? Let's check it out. Let's check out the let's check out the accuracy on that on that move real quick. 95 accuracy? Oh wow. Really? Missing that much with 95 accuracy. That's perfect, bro. Yes, sir, I'm back. Yes, sir, I'm back. Watch me miss. Watch me miss. We don't miss. GG's. We did it. That was rough, man. That was hard as hell. <laughs> 
That was hard as hell, man. I could have went into the grass and grinded, but I, we came up with a strategy instead. Me and Ego decided we needed to use an item. We realized we needed to terrestrialize um, Tropius because it was the, it was our best bet. And we realized that Air Slash was a special attack, therefore the boosts don't matter anymore. She said, I'm so sorry, everyone. She's screaming. She's crying. Man, you did great. You beat me like four times. I'm sorry. I haven't dealt with that in a long time. Like, I haven't dealt with that in Pokemon in a long time in any playthrough. Like, four times in a row is, like, crazy. Like, great job. Nah, don't worry about it. You did it. We're the ones who asked you to put us through some tough battle practice so we can train up. Yeah, but... Truly, you need not apologize, my lady. Thanks to thy sage instruction, I am making swift strides towards mastering the art of battle. And I could never have evolved my Pokemon without you, Eri. Okay. Can't believe I wasn't streaming for that long. I was doing a lot of strategy building and talking a lot of shit. And I kind of just thought that you guys weren't saying anything in chat because it was entertaining. But I realized that now I, I wasn't streaming for a cool second. But at least we got to stream the last battle where we won. And we did win. We definitely won. Um, damn. Why does everybody have all these like medieval names and shit like Atticus and Eris and Eri and weird things like Arvin Arvin Oh uh, yeah I made star badges I ain't gonna lie every every um anyway well I don't know what it is but just looking at my star badge makes me feel so strong like I want to give it my all aw that's like when you first join a gang and they give you your flag and you're like, oh my God, this makes me feel so powerful. Um, I gave my all, but it wasn't enough. I wasn't enough. Nah, you're great. You're great. You killed it. Don't don't beat yourself up. You killed it. Like, you absolutely killed it. You showed amazing strength. Like, you absolutely killed it. Actually, no, I'll take it back. That dumbass car? No, I'll take it back. I'm sorry. Your dumb car? Your little dumb car was your fucking Trump card? No, I'll take it back. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're not a good trainer. I'll take it back. Even if the code didn't require me to give it to you, I want you to have this. Yeah, give me the code. Give me the badge. Give me the give me the badge. You and your dumb car. Go somewhere. Fuck you in your car. Fuck you in your car. Um, stupid ass car, bro. Uh, I'd like to see you try out my trademark move too. Here, this one's for you. What's the trademark move? Close combat. That's your trademark move. That shit has existed for like nine generations. We're in generation nine. That shit has existed for like six generations. Fucking goofball. That's not your signature move. And we're not in Scarlet, so we're not in the past. We're in the future. So you're you're super lying unless you're like immortal and live forever. Unless you're like immortal or some shit, Eri. Fuck out of here. You know what, Eri? Fuck you. Nice battles. <laughs> I'm sorry. I cursed way too much for this last battle, this stream. I'm going to post it on YouTube and it's just going to be a bunch of cuss words and stuff. That's not cool. Who cares, nigga? I don't care, bro. You were a rough time, Eri. And run away with your raw and your cry ball eye antics and shit, you fucking cunt back. Anyway, guys, love you guys. Um, Thanks for stopping by the stream. I will be back for day six in a couple of hours. It's 4.53 a.m. I've been streaming forever. <laughs> I've been streaming forever. <laughs> so as soon as I wake up, I'll be back. As soon as I wake up, I'll be back, guys. I'll see you guys, and let's see what these niggas have to say first before we end this all. Clive, looks like it's all over. Oh, Riri, this is the Team Storm member you battled. Um, So what did you want to ask me? You seem to be on much friendlier terms with Eri compared to the other grunts. Why is that? Oh, you spotted that? Well, all right, I don't mind telling you. Truth is, I used to hate Riri. She's an amazing trainer and athlete, and she's really pretty too. She has a mask on. How do you know if she's pretty? I took her, it took her no time at all to become popular at the academy. I was queen of the class before she came along, but then everyone liked her more than me. Aw. So let me guess, you started to pick on her? Pretty much. I got our classmates to join in too. We were all so stupid. 
But in the end, kids are always fickle, and once one throw wears off, they look for something else. Before long, the class chose me as their next target and started bullying me instead. I guess I deserved it, but then Riri, she chose to help me even though I'd been so horrible to her. She told me that she understood how hard it is to have no one on your side, and she invited me into Team Star. Even after you bullied her like that, what a kind... Yo, oh my God, yo. I ain't gonna front. Dude, a lot of these things are really touching because I feel like I have, like, similar stories from my life. She really is. Like, I think people are mean to me, and they're like, I, I had the opportunity to be mean back to people, but then I'm like, you know what? You're not as dangerous as me. Let me just spare your life. And anyway, she really is. And joining the team has worked out great for us. It's been so much fun. Fun. There are rumors that Team Star likewise engages in bullying. Mm. After hearing my story, do you really think that's true? Uh, no, I merely... Riri and the rest of the Team Star made me who I am today. Please, don't take away our greatest treasure. Wow. Wow. Dude. That's the shit when it's like, yo, niggas be like, yo, you join a certain shit, like you join, and they turn you into a man. Like, you know what I mean? Like, she's like, yo, she said, Team Star turned me into a real trainer. So please don't hate on my gang. Please don't hate on my gang because they made me a real trainer. Wow. Um. Sakura, it's me. I take it that every handed over her star badge to you then? I see. Without its boss, the Cav Squad should be a hair's breath from disbanding. Wait, was that the last one? Even Eri. I'm sorry. We're almost there now. Just one boss left. The operation's been a huge success thanks to you, Sakur. And Clive has also performed admirably as your support. I remember him saying that your acquaintances have you known each other long? That's fucking... That's Professor Clavel, bro. That's Director Clavel. He's just being some hoe ass nigga with a toupee. Like I'm dumb. Like the nigga from Alola with the um the mask, the, the mask dude from Alola. Like we're dumb. Yeah, I knew the nigga for a while. I ain't even gonna cap. I knew the nigga for a minute. So it was like as soon as I came to Paldea, that's the first nigga I met. Oh, he's clearly a reliable friend. He's all he almost reminds me of the gang back in the day. The gang back in the day. Yo, dude, the gang back in the day, what are you talking about? Which gang? As you know, Team Star was formed by a group of... Uh, actually, my bad, I fucked up with his voice. My As you know, Team Star was formed by a group of students who were being bullied at school. Shortly after forming the team, these students, none other than the squad bosses themselves, confronted their bullies head on. The outcome was a resounding victory for Team Star. Though you could hardly call it a contest. The bullies didn't even put up a fight. They all got bolted from battle the first chance they got. Scared spitless of Team Star. The bullies then dropped out of school, one after another. And Team Star ended up the villains of the story. But that's neither here nor there. Forget I mentioned it. Now, about your reward. I'll transfer some LP over to your phone, as promised. 10,000 LP. Killing it. Killing it. Killing it. Killing it. Killing it. Killing it. All right, we'll start off with talking over to the rep. The rep is cool. I like her outfit. Love you guys. Bye, man. I'm going to holla at y'all, gango.